All right, guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on how to rebuild the oil cooler. Now, I have a similar uh, section in a previous video, but I wanted a video on just how to redo this so people don't have to watch the whole other video just to get to that part. First thing I will point out when you take it apart, I've looked up many other kits. This hole can be anywhere. It doesn't matter. Um, I paid attention to my orientation and where it was because I thought it might be important but after looking at the kits for sale this hole has been over here it's been over here it's been up here so it doesn't matter about that orientation now to get this off of the sandwich on the car you will need an allen key you'll put it in the middle and you will unscrew it this comes out after it's unscrewed and there's your first seal after that seal you got to worry about taking it apart on the inside. Now, you take a screwdriver, you wrap the tip in tape or something so it don't mar, and you're going to stick it right through this hole, and you're just going to pry up and walk around. Once you pry it around, the whole core is free. And the seals... There's one on the end that, secures, that seals it to the bottom of the housing. There's a seal here, and there's a seal here. So all you're going to do is follow the kit. I will leave a link in the directions, or in the instructions, or description, whatever the heck you want to call it, that explains everything in here. So the rings O, that'll be that one and that one. Okay, they're both in rings. Center rings, they are both O-rings, C and D. Now see, these two are B, B, this is C and D. So make sure the C and D go in the middle. And then the E-ring is the one on the shaft there. This one goes on the outlet itself that I will show you. You use a simple standard pick, careful not to mar it. And you just take the seals off. Just don't worry about damaging them if you're replacing them, but get them all off. You will notice on this it has ring A, C, D, and E. The two we need for the middle are ring C and D. That would be these two big rings. So take them out and you're going to walk them to their place. Now I have previously cleaned all of this before, but make sure you take a wire brush, something soft. You don't want to gouge the aluminum but clean all of this the best you can. Now you'll notice these two seals, one's bigger than the other. This is the side that faces out. So you're gonna look at it from this perspective. So ring C is the one back here and ring D is this one. And if you look, it even specifies on the packaging. Ring C is medium, ring D is large. The outside seal is larger than this seal. Now the seal on the end is going to be a B ring and that's these two packages. We're going to put it on the end and slide this in. Now you can grease all of this and make it easier. Uh, it won't be too much grease where this uh, gets clogged or anything because it'll actually uh, melt down pretty much in the coolant. I find it easier with the seal that is on the internal if you put it on and hold it and then lower the housing down over it or stick that up in there rather than trying to do it sideways because that seal will fall off. You're going to push it all the way down to its seats. So it's a little high here so we're going to tap it all the way around make sure it's sealed all the way down. You will know when the unit's secure, when you can do that, and it does not fall out. And like I said, if you do it that way, you can, you can see the sill in there. You can see if it's seated. So you can look all around there. But by doing it where you set the housing down on that, you ensure that that's still straight up and not to the side that where it's going to fall off. The next step is the tube that goes through, and that would be this little O-ring right here which is E. So 
you just take and walk it down it'll fit in that groove in the center from this side the shaft will pass through here and that's what locks everything down so your unit will look like this with a shaft going through it comes out the back that's what screws in to the oil filter adapter the other o-ring will go up there which I will show you in just a second the last seal goes right here all right guys this is the filter adapter that is the water neck and you can see the groove up here that's where the oil seal goes right up there in that groove on the water neck there you can see I have the o-ring installed there's a drop of water there just clear that up and then that will fit inside that hole and everything will line up all right guys once you got that hole lined up like I said it helps everything's greased I grease the hole I grease the, all these everything slides in perfect you're gonna put this through the middle and you're gonna hand tighten it a few turns you're gonna try to pull it out to make sure it's catching you don't want to put an allen key on that and then cross thread it and undo everything grease helps hold the seal back here you can clearly look in between the housing and that and make sure that it's in the groove if it's not it'll be sandwiched out it'll be pushed out on the one side and you'll be able to tell it's sitting even like this that means it is not uh it is not pushed out that it is seated properly one tip that helps me with the allen wrench that i have it is too long if i do it the other way i don't have enough room in here to swing it so i gotta bring it out here but you notice there's not a lot of leverage and i can't get anything on that really i got a socket that'll fit over the end of that and i have an extension so i slide it over the end and i use it as a handle to tighten it so it's like that over the end and then i just tighten it Pull that off it's a tedious but it gets it tighter notice once it's tightened down that this is actually not flush anymore it is actually sitting inside of here that's how you know it's all tightened down you don't want to you want to make sure it's tight but you don't want to torque it down like crazy because you can take the chance of flattening the seal on the back but do get it tight and that's the that's literally all there is other than putting the water hose the radiator hose back on and putting the oil filter back on that's it all there is I would turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that would be too smart Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around, I done made it this far Look back now, that would be too smart Shoot for the stars even when it gets hard Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars I won't turn around I won't, I won't.